This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I was trying to figure out how to work the after hours in there. It took me a moment to figure it out. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello. Nice for you to join us tonight. (laughs) Nice for you. Nice for you. What? I said nice for you to join us tonight. You're not English very well. (laughs) English is a second language, okay? (laughs) Mumbling <laughs> and disturbed. Let's introduce our guest, shall nice we? Nice for us. I should have said nice for us. Uh, never mind. Nice of mess. you to join us. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. Yes. See, if you were going to coherently um, Why do I have a punish mic? me, it would be okay. Who's this guy on the I'm couch? I'm trying to. <laughs> this guy on the couch is Justin Kistner. Hey! All right! Woo! <laughs> and we also have a live studio audience this evening. Justin, the worst yeah, yeah. intro for a guest ever on Strange Love Live. Thank you very much. Hey, if there's going to be a guy, you're going to blow an intro on. <laughs> Do it again. Well, that got bad. Do it again. Do that intro again? Yeah. We're already oh. in the after hours, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Exactly. He loved, he loved, look at him. He loved the intro. He was like, yes, I've been drinking all day. It's true. Whoa. Since since three. Okay. And we have a live studio audience this evening. That's right. Woo. Can we Yay. please say hello to Verso Kelly Banana Leaf Fishbones? And Christine Kissner. Hussein. Oh. Her name is so much you, easier to say because. And if we had more than one, one <laughs> camera, maybe you'd see them. They're over there, and I'm not going to show you. They're much better to look at than I am, but send uh, your cards and letters to yeah. Dr. Normal. Or your money for another camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the software. Yeah, yeah. Take send the cards and letters things. with the little cash. Right, we want the, the camera that's got the joystick, too. Don't, don't oh, yeah. The robotic don't cheap on us. And the TriCaster. You and we want to go to South by Southwest. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Actually, <laughs> I have a little secret. What? What's going to happen is, okay, check this out. So, I, I think Aaron Weiss is now out of the chat room, but when they open up that live at Seven Square Studio, we're just going to take it over. Just oh, the beer and bloggers nice. and stuff. Yes. They, they got the gear. Do you think, right? do you yeah. think there's yeah. enough of us? We yeah. could, I mean, we'll they're like, not using it right now, are we they? We could exactly. overthrow the station. We're like the CNN, <laughs> man, of, of, of podcasting. Although I, well, hear, I hear we have better microphones. You know, you know uh, honestly, TNA. one of the things I want to do is I, <laughs> I want to get a space going. Yes. Yep. And you want to go to yeah. space? Yes. What? No. And uh, beer and blog on the international space. In that, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Okay, let's be serious. He wants to get a Come clubhouse. On. A clubhouse. <laughs> it's after hours. Let's the be serious. clubhouse. Is there going to be a secret I, handshake? I, I want there to be a stage. Of course, mm. there's going to be a secret a handshake. Stage. Yes. And I'm I, really good at making I a want secret handshake. Strange Love Live and a few other shows to actually go on wow. in front of the studio audience. We would be happy to do that. That would be cool. That's yeah. the, that's I enjoy the goal. a studio audience. Even we do. Even I, I mean, I love my two-person studio audience right now. And make make sure make sure when we do that, it's at a venue where there's a band playing really loud. Oh, I don't think yeah. I don't think he was at Cyborg Camp, were so, you? No. Or the Cyborg Camp pre-party? Yeah, we had the our, the our first ever yeah. live show, and the downstairs um, backspace had a yeah. band going. At the time. Was it wasn't oh, quite man. as bad on the mics as I thought, but you know, kind of the rumbling through your feet as you're trying to talk mm-hmm. is interesting. But yeah. but it all turned out in the end. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Shot people with Nerf guns. It was nice. Oh man, a lot of people having a good time. There's a Nerf yeah, gun now. Need to have some Nerf guns. Oh yeah, squirt guns, Nerf guns, and a rock wall. So and so, rock band. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Rock band. We know that's popular. <laughs> so is this is this something you're actively pursuing right now, or just uh, kind of like an idea you're kind of working on? It's uh, it's it's definitely in pursuit. Cool. Um, Very cool. There there was a conversation today that suggested it could be some kind of a timetable like this summer. Oh yeah. But uh, let's not commit to anything. No. But we can be hopeful. So you're the, you're actively no, pursuing. No, yeah. Paper, yeah. Very good. <laughs> well, I mean. We need to have Christine on mic at some point because she's really the 
even keel here. Well, yeah, we're, she's, we're, she's the voice of reason. I'm thinking that her drink has us? not been refilled as many times. That, that's not true. Is, she just handles it. Yeah, sorry about that. We uh, we hogged the refill. Well, one of the things that we noticed is that um, when we first started Beer and Blog, we went to the Lucky Lab, which mm-hmm. is where everything was going on at the time because mm-hmm. the format worked. Um, then we bounced around a couple of places before we found the Green Dragon. Then once we found that space, um, all of us suddenly realizing, you know, that this format worked, um, a lot of different folks started bringing their events there. Yeah. So we realized, oh, huh. If there could be a physical epicenter for this community... That'd be good. So, wouldn't that kick some ass? Yeah. Yes, I, got yeah. The I always, I always kind of like every once in a while when I get to go to Beer and Blog, you can see when someone comes through and they're not part of Beer and Blog, you can see the look on their face. Like, what the what hell the is fuck this? What is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? I don't know. There's people. And yeah. Like, was, someone will try to make their way through to the bathroom and they're like, I, I came oh here for gosh. a microbrew and I get laptops on? and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we ran into our neighbor there last time we went. <laughs> and we were like, hi, neighbor. How are you? And he's like, what's going on here? I've seen uh, many an annoyed face as they were trying to make their way to the restroom. And they, yeah. they looked very perturbed. And yeah. I'm like, hey, sorry, we brought business. <laughs> hey, you know. not It's not the employees. It's No, it's the not patrons. the employees. And there's that one waitress that's always there. Stacy. Stacy. She's such a she, sweetheart. She's Stacey. our girl. She's such a sweetheart tonight. I ordered Amy, French fries. Amy, too. She's, yeah. she's also... Stacy awesome. Stacy takes us into the evening, and then mm-hmm. Amy takes us home. Yeah. They are awesome. So we're not complaining about you at all. No, no. They're, it's they're just they're the great. dirty looks we get from a few other patrons. It's, not, it's more confusion than anything else. They're just like, what the hell? Well, yeah. And there's just that whole... Uh, Oregonian fear of crowds. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know. Hello. That's yeah. why I moved here for that reason. I don't like people. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we've actually had people say that they left because uh, they got claustrophobic. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it does get a little tight. It, in it there. does. It's very crowded for yeah, me, that, but usually. That back room, that area, that whole. Yeah. yeah. Usually what happens is I'll be very claustrophobic for a minute and then someone will ask me something or tell me something and then I'll get really involved in the conversation and then I will forget that <laughs> I have no air and I'll be fine for a while and then I'll get my martini and then everything's good. And then everything's good. <laughs> everything's fine. Um, I think blah, it's blah, the blah, 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 story, blah, 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 martini. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Blah, 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 crowded, blah, 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 gin. Ooh. <laughs> Kelly, did you have something to say? I did. I think part of the reason people look at us so confused is because uh, we are nerds. People are wearing shirts with software companies on them and bacon on them, for example. <laughs> yeah! And, Tasty. you know, um, and there's like a wave of them that are sort of interspersed that are all people with laptop. And, and I think it's sort of that trying to reconcile, like, you look like a bunch of geeks. Why aren't you in a basement somewhere? Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on. Or, <laughs> wait, no, we do that later on Fridays. So. Yeah, that's that's the 10 o'clock. Either, yeah. And I think, I think part Finish. of that is yeah. the fact that like the social web comes off the web and into real life. And I think that that is part of what is freaking people out. Nobody expects to walk into a place with beer yeah. and, and find nerds. a bunch of people with computers. I think that's part of what makes it odd for them. A yeah. bunch of people, you find that just about anywhere, but when you show up to like drink and eat your frites and whatever else you do, because that's how you do, then when you look around and see half a dozen MacBooks And a girl in a Neil Diamond audience, shirt. Yeah, well, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I think... I the, think that's the diversity of, of the crowd definitely <laughs> confuses people. They're like, wait a minute. Um, I think it's you guys are all and- socializing and having an awesome time. Yeah. It's laptops and girls. I think that's why they're confused. Well, look at Portland bars in general. Uh, they're very sit down oriented. That's true. So when you see all these people up and socializing, you're like, what? And all what the talking, heck is going like on one here? One person's talking, <laughs> and it, one person's talking, and then all of a sudden, oh, you're talking to this person too, and mm-hmm. then all of a sudden, oh my God, there's 20 people all in a circle. That's why I was asking you earlier about kind of the differences, uh, like with Las Vegas beer and blog and Portland beer and blog. Oh, oh, the one thing that's been good is that, uh, you know, because I've been to the Corvallis beer and blog and and the Las Vegas beer and blog, and the spirit of socializing uh, and and intermingling and stuff is definitely alive in in all those spaces. Oh, cool. That's that's a commonality. So so there is that thread there. Mm Mm-hmm. 
I can definitely tell you that when we went to uh, Baron Black Las Vegas, we were actually really nervous. <laughs> we were nervous because we know what the Portland tech scene is like, and we figured that the Corvallis tech scene would be fairly slightly similar. similar. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, when you deal with Las Vegas, you're dealing with a whole different crowd of people. And so we were really nervous to see, okay, how the, how are these people going to interact to the beer and blog? And so here are Portlanders interacting I was with just Las thinking, Vegas. I, I would, it would be hard for me to get over the whole bloggers and pasties kind of thing <laughs> in Las Vegas. You know, I mean, that it's would, I tried to like say Gordon. something to Christine, yeah. but she just was insistent. So, so I, have to, I have to, but, but add, doctor, you would try, wouldn't you? You would no, try. No, he wouldn't try. He would, he would try stare with his try. jaw hanging down. Hello, <laughs> Liz. Truck talk. Can I get pasties? <laughs> so no, I have to ask. Blog Las Vegas. Justin no and pasties Christine. In beer and blog Las Vegas. Okay. Justin okay. and Christine went down to Vegas for their bad. belated honeymoon. That's right. That's right. Did That's you? Fine. Was that timing related to the opening of beer and blog, or was that happenstance? I'll let you answer. Uh, that actually wasn't related to it. It actually kind of was a little bit of a fluke that it happened at the same time that we were going down there, and um, it was actually. Uh, a blessing in disguise because serendipitous. Uh, serendipitous very very much so it was great to be able to go down there and be able to celebrate the first beer and blog um which was uh last thursday and um they just had a tremendous amount of people that showed up and, and a great amount of people so it was great for us to be able to to be the entrepreneurs of of uh, beer and blog coming and and uh sitting with them in Las Vegas and we we actually met uh one of the people behind lasvegas.com. Oh yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah. that was kind of cool. Nice. Did you meet PDX or not PDX geek? Las Vegas geek, LV geek, is that what it is? No. No. Oh, oh let's put it this way. They didn't introduce themselves that way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so if I met them it was We met them through real names, not Twitter names. Oh. Yeah, that I was always, a difference. I always loved Weird the way they, is a difference. They were like using your Christian name Correct. and I'm like, "Whoa, I don't know about that." Did Correct. they have In greeters? Portland, if you introduce somebody, if you introduce somebody sorry, we only use Christian to, you, names. You introduce so. yourself and they're always like, "What's your Twitter name?" Yeah. No one cares. Yeah. I heard Aaron Hawkley say it My tonight, Twitter name is Dr. Twitter Normal. Name? I'm sorry, what were you baptized with? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's no. Not, in Portland, like, don't please don't tell me your name. It actually Just took me a me. while to figure out what your name was. It's not and what I, do you I, do? It was one of those things, like, I, I talked a couple of times with you, so I'm, like, past the point of being allowed <laughs> it's to like ask. Embarrassing. It's still I had to wait a mystery. for somebody to go, oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Yes. Some people it's, who've it's met him, and I'll be talking about, well, you know, Mike, blah, 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 and they're like, who? Who's Mike? My husband. Does Dr. Normal know and, about that? And I giggle Normal. inside every every time someone is like, oh, let's ask the doctor. And, I'm like, <laughs> and it's not, that's the funny thing about how that didn't sound like a giggle. Beer and Blog <laughs> has evolved. <laughs> it didn't. I'm sorry. I had the... <clears throat> beer and Blog has evolved from... Had the like, fries. It, it used to be, you know, how are you doing? What's going on? What Now it's like if I've never met you before, it's... And on Twitter you are. That's like <laughs> always the first question. Not what do you do? Not, how did you end up here? You know, not, how you doing? No. It's always. I don't know. I'm always the one that says, how you doing? Hi. Yeah, but you only say that to me because you think it's funny. <laughs> yeah. No, I say that to no Michelle, No wonder the show's too. popular. So, yeah. And, and wonder, why, Twitter, where are we getting all these people? You are... Well, one, one of the best things about Beer and Blog Las Vegas is that a lot of people were at the WordPress camp that was the yeah. weekend before. Mm-hmm. And Aaron Hoffman. Yeah, thank you, right. Aaron. Yes, thank you, Aaron. Because so many people that we talk to, and that's one of the great things that Justin and I, when we go to a, a new beer and blog event in a different city, is we like to introduce ourselves to as many people as possible. And and everyone that we introduced ourselves to, everyone we heard was like, we went to the WordPress camp and we, we met with Aaron or we saw Aaron and they talked about this beer and blog thing. We didn't know what it was about, but we wanted to, you know, we wanted to figure out or discover what it was, um, what it was about. So that was probably one of the biggest things about beer and blog Las Vegas is that. Yeah, yeah, it was promoted by Aaron Hawkins. It was right so on the heels of that, him. like a week yeah. later. Aaron actually, yeah. the weekend went down to after. Vegas. Absolutely. Well, we were actually hoping, uh, when we were planning this whole trip, uh, we were initially trying to get there for WordCamp. Um. Uh, but being that it was CES and, oh, and, and the no ad- hotel adult rooms. video you yeah. know, conference, uh, there yeah. were no flights or hotels yeah. that were within reason, so we just said, well... Let's do the next weekend. And so that pasty yeah. joke wasn't quite far off. No, it really wasn't. They just wouldn't have been That's wearing the pasty <laughs> for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the cold in here is that your? Yeah. Oh. So when... <laughs> I think part of it was the um, 
I think uh, Jackie was one of the people who organized it down mm-hmm. there. And she said, and I think she really wanted to just sort of strike while the iron was hot, while all these people had been in this room and listened to Aaron talk about how great it was and what kind of scene we had here. And then just being able to take that momentum of people going, yeah, we should do something like that too, and then doing it. And I think yeah. that's part of why yeah. she got it together as fast as she did. And that was really impressive. Watching that unfold like over Twitter it was and the listening fastest, to Aaron. Uh, fastest ramp up time yeah. from yeah. let's do this to we had our first meeting yeah. by far and and I, I do think it was they did it on a Thursday yeah this is a lot yeah. about Vegas I guess well Corvallis <laughs> does it on Wednesday Wednesday night this is a lot about Corvallis my goodness on a <laughs> so Wednesday well actually Corvallis the new Friday in Corvallis yeah they're like on Friday we're busy we, <laughs> yeah we have lives dude what are you guys getting together but, on fridays for dude in portland <laughs> it's beer and blog and strange and fly that's it that's right man. well and one You're of not the guys to do from, other stuff one Battle of the guys Star from Galactica corvallis Suite. is in the chat room yeah. okay and he and said that they've been that, that uh this week there were people there until like 9 30 10 o'clock nice, nice. yeah so, so that's pretty awesome. I have to say, when Aaron Hockley went down and I watched his presentation, he just went and he took all his favorite Portland stuff mm. and threw it out there for I just have this, the see. devil went down to Georgia stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> when Aaron Hockley went down to Vegas, he brought his beer don't, and blood. Don't make he me sing it. I love slide that song. PowerPoint <laughs> slide set. And, you know, I've been drinking. I'm <laughs> about to get a second ass. He's looking for an ace to steal. Exactly. I'm sorry. told you once, you son of a bitch, I'm the best. There ever is. Yeah. <laughs> the devil said he was on Facebook. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, very nice, Dr. Normal. Very nice. Good night, everybody. Yes. That's why I'm here. It's yeah, not for I the English. I don't know that we can talk that. <laughs> Um, yeah, now no. Doctor Normal has a new phrase. He wants me to English things for him when he <laughs> yes. when he he'll he'll type up a tweet and then he'll go, Cammy, can you come English this for me? <laughs> because he doesn't think it makes. And I, the request is it's, apropos. It's, it's like beautiful. the fact that well, you look, can't even ask to edit it. Look, 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 well, look, look, look. The White House. The Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it again. The mic was off. Yeah. <laughs> I think it goes between spouses because I asked Justin to do the same yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I recently taught him that um, tweet deck. Has spell check and he didn't. He's like, no, it just tells you when it's spelled wrong. It won't fix it for you. I said, y- oh, yeah. yes, honey, it will. <laughs> you know, if you have a if you have a Mac, uh, any text field that's yeah. correct can be turned into yeah. you know, like so. I, on my I use Twirl and really I the only reason still... I use Twirl is because I have like six <laughs> accounts. Oh, and it does the multiple. And yes. I need to you see know, all you my know what accounts. You need to do? And um, this is. For a guy that we're gonna have on the show next month, you should try out Tagless. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. because Portland made it's oh. still yeah. it's still being set up. He hasn't even. Just it, are, you, are you supposed to talk about this yet? Oh, oh I don't know. Maybe Jeez, I'm not. You just totally Maybe well, I'm in trouble, dude. But there's there's a, no, there's Rick Terrell is gonna start writing about it. You know exactly. what? <laughs> he's tweeted about it. There's like, a Tagless okay. Twitter account. It can't yeah, be that secret. He's okay. tweeted about. But, well, the is it an air client? The ta- yeah, he just. Oh yeah. He's doing well. He's. I mean, it's. I didn't know if it was... I'll give you the link. Is it an air client? I don't know no, what the deal... I mean, am I a nerd for being the only one that doesn't it? understand? Like, why Why does every Twitter client have to be an air client? I don't know. I don't understand. Somebody's going to start saying something on the chat room. But you know what, though? Like, <laughs> he, he, his is specifically I made so as a multi, yeah. multi-client. That's the reason I've been using it, is so I can manage both accounts. Yeah. Um, Stop looking at me like that. He tweets openly about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. That's fine. It. <laughs> no, shh, it's okay. You know <laughs> what? If he's upset, he can send me an irate email. It's fine. Email. It's fine. I wasn't. Did, did he give you an NDA? Or? No. Then you're fine. Then you're fine. John, am I in trouble here? Because I thought it was okay. Anyway, Portland uh, yeah. based no, I, Twitter client I, coming I, soon. I end up using uh, my NetVibes dashboard to mm-hmm. consume Twitter. So sometimes mm-hmm. people, will be like, you know, you're not following me. Yes, I am. Yeah. Right. 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 Now, Using had... the follow function on Twitter is for the Facebook. He's not just kidding. <laughs> Dead people. So, so net, we net had a conversation. Follow is so 2007. Yeah. We had a conversation. <laughs> I just lost one of the channels on my headset by Maybe playing with my. You were playing with it. I know. Yeah. I shouldn't test, play with things. Test. Okay. Test one, two. I can only hear myself in one ear now. This is very yeah, sad. We'll fix that later. It's I like mean... getting that echo on the cell phone yeah, that yeah, just throws it's... you off and you're like. If I just crunch up my cable here for but anyway we had a discussion earlier <laughs> i was gonna say ever have that feeling you're driving down the wrong road <laughs> and it's a long one the horns beeping the lights are flashing at you and you're like what's the what? deal 
real. And the next exit is 20 miles away. <laughs> yeah, so early we earlier we were discussing the whole following on Twitter versus oh they're right, both channels now. Um versus unfollowing. <laughs> and you say you're not technical. Oh. And, what? Channels. Sometimes you just got to take the mouse and Channels is a really well known. Are you making fun of me? I'm not. This is no, Strange Love Live you classic. <laughs> Who's the guy on the couch? You facilitate our conversation. It's about us. We actually <laughs> haven't seen each other. I've been at work. She's been at home. It's true. What'd you eat for lunch today, honey? <laughs> um, I don't remember. Oh, okay. <gasps> I, I really, I just, you know, it was something that didn't have a lot of carbohydrates in it because I didn't want it's anything whole wheat. That's all I know. I, I, I had something with sarancha on it. Yeah. Just yeah. Roll it was yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. you know, per normal. Did I tweet what I ate for lunch? You generally do, so you probably <laughs> oh, did. So I think I just scroll what back. I, I think I tweeted what I ate for breakfast. <laughs> just, that's the beauty of Twitter. <laughs> Undo. That's, that's what I think Twitter will be. Twitter will be that data mining piece, like when you're senile and you're like, what did I do back then? And you just go Which is pretty much me well, now. You can, I need to start I mean, tweeting when I take my vitamins so I can remember if I took them or not. Did that's, it? Josh I'm Bancroft uses the initial tweet about yeah. just went to Ignite Seattle and it was awesome. We should have Ignite Portland. And that's like yeah. the like the genesis that's of Ignite the, Portland. And I he, knew about it before it was cool people. And he links that for everybody, like that tweet from that day, I was that into time. Insane, right, they yeah. were underground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go, baby. Yeah. Not me personally. The, no, the I, royal I eye. It's after yeah. hours, just, I like new kids on the block. It's, it's okay. You can't recall. talk about it. It's you okay. Say, You're among friends here. <laughs> you don't have to lie to yeah, me. Yeah, no, friends. she's made me listen to some pretty, you know, interesting. <laughs> I mean, she she just looked cake. thrown under the bus. <laughs> I made you listen to a cake cover of Mana no, Mana. No, 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 no. That was not, such no. torture. I'm oh. talking about the Justin Timberlake. I made you listen to Justin Timberlake? Yeah. yeah. But, but honestly, Justin Timberlake is not in. Was it Dick in a Box? <laughs> what? I don't know. I remember being in the car and you making me listen to Justin Timberlake. This is the part I where mean... Dr. Normal wonders what happened to the show. <laughs> <laughs> and me being really, truly horrified. But no, I love the cake cover of Menomina. It's a great song. It's awesome. 90, 98%. Todd used to listen to Menomina when he was listening to I want to hear the gold lame dress again. Okay. No, no, no. So the best part of the best I couldn't have done it when the broadcasters were here. Soiled. The best part of listening to it was that Cammy's daughter heard it and said, and we were like, she was trying to talk to us. We were like, you can't talk. We're listening to Menomina. Yeah. Why? Well, we have to sing along. What do you mean? Well, wait. You know, so we had to start the song over again and turn it up a little bit because she's in the back seat. And then it was... Cammy and Kelly in the front seat going do 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 So she never saw the original Sesame Street version of Menomino, which is my early memory of Masked Up. Which turned into What is this world Jim Henson Muppet Babies. But there was, what was the song? There was a song, I can't remember what it was, and she really loved it, and you and I were singing, and she told us we weren't allowed to sing anymore. And then halfway Man, through the how song, how many people have told you that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, halfway Jeez. through the song, she was like, "Okay, you guys." There's a Cherosi. Well, K have... Chaos back <laughs> channel. <laughs> I have to see in my car so I can go find out. I'm it sure. It wasn't. I think it was one of the Muppet songs, and it... you and I were singing full blast, and she oh, was right. like, "I want to hear the music." One not of these you guys. things just isn't the same. <laughs> You're not allowed to sing either. One of these things is not like the other. I, I have an important oh. question, if you could give the mic. Yes. Um, what is his favorite song to sing in the shower? Oh. Oh. Well, that's actually pretty good because Justin takes about a five-minute shower, so he doesn't really sing really? in the shower. I don't hang out in the shower. He usually, yeah. he usually talks about tech stuff in the shower. <laughs> well, no wonder you it's don't okay. hang out in the shower. It's okay. I, it's like, I, ha- I was about to start telling you an interesting fact about me in the morning, and I don't know if it's even safe for have we mentioned <laughs> newlyweds? For the yeah. after hour. Yeah. No, no. Oh, well, <laughs> everything is safe for after hours. Down there. My ears are not itchy. Right. This is just not something people want to know. <laughs> I want to know anyway. Now I want Justin's to know. not much of a singer. He's more of a drummer That's slash right. hummer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's not the morning news. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't wait to read that on PDX <laughs> Overheard. <laughs> He's more of a drummer and a hummer. <laughs> You're the one that hums. Oh, that's how I know that she's happy. And that's, that's why she's, That's why she starts. She sings exactly. to herself, yeah. and then exactly. Exactly. she's happy. I will fully admit that. I have a question for Doctor. Apparently, Normal. hummers get in more accidents. Hey, Doctor Normal. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. They Dr. can't Normal. friggin' see anything. <laughs> no, she's more tickets. Uh, Doctor Normal, I have an important question for you. What's my I go-to? I think they asked the question Dr. wrong Normal. when they did the survey. <laughs> Doctor Normal, what is my go-to shower singing song? I don't know. Pressure really? is on. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. It should be obvious. Do you we want did... a taxi? Yeah. No, that's my Google <laughs> song. That's the Google song. <laughs> that's my Google song. I don't know. You I sing when you Google? Really? You don't know? I do. I, uh. I go. Yeah. Is it a Brian weird. Adams tune or something? <laughs> Why would it be a Brian Adams tune? <laughs> I don't I know. Brian Adams. Man. Everything I do. I don't know. I'll uh, give you one hint. Sarah Vaughn. <laughs> Sarah Vaughn. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Otherwise known as whatever Cammy yeah, wants. Yeah, I do. I change it. It's true. Cammy gets, yeah. 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 Whatever Lola wants. It's my favorite. It's currently and for the past several years. All right. Years, so, we, so in After Hours, we've been trying to dig down into the uh, So I want to the know the morning. Life, I want to know so the secret no... morning. I want to know <laughs> the secret morning behavior. No, and if you, you don't tell me, I'm going to ask your wife. It's gross. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay. But it's five minutes long, so I gotta ask the we know it's brief. No, can, can we? Ah, oh, God. I'm sorry. Doug oh. right there. <laughs> I'm never going on that strange love live. Oh, you guys are assholes. That's why they call it strange love live. Go back to your drink, Justin. Oh my the word! We, the weird thing is that I drink coffee. You drink coffee. I'm <laughs> no, just kidding. Try to get out of it. There you go. That's not weird. It's not weird. He's just making shit up so he doesn't have to tell us the weird stuff. That was close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're drinking enough espressos. There'll be 20 more cities around the world. All right, Dr. Normal. Blog. Don't make me do this again. What? S. Espresso. There's no X. Oh, gosh. There is no freaking X in it. I'm going to tell you. Say I it have... right. There's a, there's a few of those. Uh, I thought I said espresso. You said ex espresso. I, I swear I said it right. All right you did You English me better. <laughs> <laughs> English me. Come better. on. Who misses uh, the fact that the president all your is really are belong exactly? To us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was a time when the White House drove how we spoke, <laughs> and now and Englished us better. Yeah. Now it's we're on our own. Now they now, just play bowling in their you know fashionable yeah. bowling lounge that they had. No, it's it's actually to be a basketball court. Oh, oh no, no, heck yeah, that's nice. what it's supposed to be. But that's what we need. A president, you know, plays ball basketball. Yeah, if I want to yeah. bowl, I'll just do it on my Wii. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you know. What I'm, I'm just glad we have a president who can spell, who can actually pronounce N U C L E A R as nuclear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Nuclear. So I, I actually. It have is not nuclear, nuclear, and every time nuclear. <laughs> Mr. Fishbone does it, I jab him with an elbow. No. No, no. So, um, it's espresso. It's espresso. <laughs> so hearing him give his inaugural address. When he met me, I was working in a coffee shop. He, Beautiful. Should, he has to say it right. Or I might lose my I mind. mumble most of the time. It's true, you do, you mumble. Mealy mouthed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and in case anyone wonders, Dr. Normal does not sing in the shower. He talks to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, no idea what... Breaking it's news, it's Strange true. Love Livers. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Rick Tarosi has posted and overheard. He usually talks about tech stuff in the shower. There you go. <laughs> I want to know. Go. I would like to know what Justin Rick Tarosi sings way. in the shower. <laughs> oh. Same way with Justin. I want to know true. what Rick Tarosi sings in the shower. The days shower. where I do He's shower. A, I, I bet you that Rick Tarosi is, is a shower singer. He's a singer. secret singer, isn't he? He is. That's why the no, version. We're of waiting it. for Twitteroki. Rick is a secret lot of things. Twitter-oki. Rick <laughs> promised to do a, a karaoke with me. We need to hook up with Ms. D because we, apparently she has a, right. She's a wonderful KJ. piece of software mm-hmm. on her on her laptop. Yes, she just got it all set up a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, we can definitely use Ms. D's talent yep. there. And you she know, has. she KJs in a bar in our neighborhood. Our neighborhood. Penguin, Penguin Pub. Penguin. That's yeah, right. Penguin. That's really close yeah. to here. Absolutely. And, and now they're put, smoke free. Got to put in uh, one for Will Raddick too because he's yeah. KJ's over at Chopsticks. Yeah, Will. There's some tweet-ups that we need to do with the whole... 
Yeah. You know, we did the uh, we did the rock band, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which was awesome. which went over rock fantastically band. well. Yeah, we gotta do it again. And so uh, maybe it's time to do some some karaoke. I think we need to set up. We I were, think we're gonna have to have two uh, Twitter rookie dates. Well, at least two. And yeah. I was the one that started it because um, I missed the place that I used to go do karaoke because they don't do it anymore. And actually, the last night we were there, it was share eoki, so you could sing whatever song you wanted, but you had to sing like share. Oh, <laughs> I so, mean, you know, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but sorry. The best part. I'm sorry you didn't have the mic. What was that? <laughs> Come on. It's not on demand. Come on. So, well, the best part about it was that was good. People were going out of their way to pick I, things I that were not shared awesome. at all. Yeah. So it was very, that you was know, very nice. love shack baby. Woo! You know, it was like that's that. like that. Let, let's be honest. That's uh, that's Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> I do it again. Elvis. So we're gonna have a minimum of two Twitter okies because we need to have one each, and one it may be an one ongoing chopsticks series. And one of the penguins. And the whole reason we were waiting and not doing it and talking about it but not taking Smoke any action free, was baby. because it now, was in two thousand nine. Yeah. Smoke free. Is is Twitter okay where you try to keep up with the lyrics? Oh, that would tweeting. be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> I would like yeah, exactly. everyone. I would like everyone in this room to tell me what. I hate Inagata Devita. Damn it! What they would most like to <laughs> see <laughs> at Twitter okay. Although the spell checker would probably on the you iPhone work, I, right? Yeah. Really? We're gonna start over trouble. here with with Kelly. What would you most like to sing at Twitter okay? I most like to sing. Yes, and that way we can make sure that Will or uh, Ms. D can have it. You know. Ready, ready for us. Rick they can Astley. make sure they have it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rick, Rick Astley, Astley, baby. And Rick Roll, everybody. Right? My favorite was, uh, because my favorite place to, to uh, karaoke before, when mm-hmm. I used to go on a regular basis, was a gay bar. So it was kind of fun to... the best karaoke. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, but it was kind of fun to break up, like, the goofy disco songs and the Grease duets. And I used to sing uh, The Sweetness by Jimmy Eat World. Mm. Mm. It's kind of touching. It's fun. It's in my range. Yeah. It's kind of loud. Lots of guitars. All right, Christine. I like it. So uh, I'm really girly, and I like to sing in the car by myself. So I'm going to... Um, I think we need to get her in the car with us, Kelly. I need to uh, yeah. belt out <laughs> some uh, Celine Dion. Oh, <laughs> true. Uh, I love her, but she does there, love Celine Dion. They love to sing to Celine Dion, whether they <laughs> like to admit it or not. Yeah. You're sitting next to the girl who is the exception to that rule. Uh, no, 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 wait. No, uh, I, I would say, I would say that'd be called like the early no, Celine okay. Dion, on, like the stuff sung in French. Okay, so okay, he, that would be know. okay. But before yeah. she started yeah. hitting her yeah. chest, once she started yeah. hitting her chest, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, Doctor Normal, ultimate karaoke Twitter okey song. I, I, you know, it could be anything. I mean, it would be what? Cause, first of all, my first choices are they never have anything obscure. That's why no no that's why the, we're calling it now that way Miss D yeah. or Will has time to look it up like Miss D she can get anything and let yeah, it she, in I'd have to go happen. through the catalog She's no, got 4000 4, songs on yeah. No 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 already. we were talking about it she gave cool. me a ride home from uh, the the WordPress uh, user yeah. group and we were talking about it just why don't you I mean did I have I had a sick now. sick idea of singing uh, um, the journey song just to don't make everyone it. crazy yeah Don't yeah, stop. yeah. Mm-hmm. and do the best um you know What's that guy's Perry? Um, Steve Perry. Steve Perry. Steve Perry. But the good thing yeah. about doing something like that is yeah. that then if you're not Wear a, a wig, maybe. Like yeah. 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 But you, you oh, bring I have back the perfect the wig for him. Days. I've got, yeah, I've got the go. perfect wig. Hey. hey. Yeah, yeah, we were telling Steve. That came up earlier. A little quiet riot or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the best thing Come about on, doing that. Well, hey, we saw Sticks. Sticks was in concert at uh, in Las oh, Vegas. Oh, Sticks! You know. Oh, oh, you know, a good Dennis D. Young song just really brings the house down, isn't it? It was never the All original right. after. A little Mister okay, Roboto would uh, be we quite need to find well out received. With Justin. <laughs> I, you I would, need to stop. Justin. I would sing uh, "When You Were Young" by the Killers because really there's a part where they say uh, uh, <laughs> that thing. Something that they about say. you don't look. A, how did it go? Well, they were talking about Jesus, and I always swapped that out like for Jesus. Justin. Mm. Mm. You don't, yeah, yeah. He doesn't look a thing like Jesus, he, doesn't, but he talks like a gentleman. That's the one. So I always sub in Justin. Cause, <laughs> and every time I do it, I think I'm funny. Is, yes. yes. Rock band. <laughs> it's important to think that you're funny. I always think I'm funny. And I'm often myself. told I'm not. But Cammy? I, I go back yeah. and forth between whatever Lola wants. Mm-hmm. And Which anarchy is in the UK. Whatever Cammy oh. wants. I, I do. Yeah, I always say, yeah. exactly. You and I are very similar that way. I was whatever Cammy wants. It's a superstars of blogging, right? You, you always replace <laughs> yeah. 
with your own name. <laughs> when when, Two syllables when you guys are grown up, you'll do that too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys just don't understand yet. <laughs> Whatever Dr. Normal wants. <laughs> no, no. No, honey, please don't. Please don't mock that song. No, honestly, you, you got a the whole uh, Neil Patrick Harris. What's the... Dr. Dr. Horrible. Horrible sing along blog. Yeah, you got to do some of those songs. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, Laundry Day is the best song. Laundry mm. Day is pretty awesome. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ms. D, I hope you're on this. Yeah, yeah. really. If well, not, I, I, hope, what, I know, hope you at least watch the recording. I think Will already said they have whatever Lila wants. Awesome. So awesome. I'm, a, I'm good at least so one covered. place. And then yeah. I, someone's got to have anarchy in the UK. Yeah. No, the power to then I people. can just scream and it doesn't matter. My, my plan would be to do three entirely dissimilar songs as, Although, oh, as wait, good wait, wait. as I could do them. Rick? You know, I do a good really... morphine song. Rick, you promised. Yeah. Oh. You promised to do a song with me, so you're going to have to come up with something. A duet. A duet yeah. for you and me, Rick. We're going to do it. Yeah? How about right. Summer Nights from Greece? No, thank you. <laughs> you're the one that oh, I want from no, no, Greece. No, no, no. Nothing from Greece. You and Rick doing, a, what is it, the dashboard light? Uh, the, 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 the Paradise by the Paradise dashboard, right, the dashboard light. light you know? Oh my god! That would be perfect. What song? It, it's Paradise by, by the, the dashboard, dashboard light the, the, with you and Rick. I don't know. It's uh, meatloaf. Meatloaf. Sing meatloaf. It for me. Oh. Give me. I I got nothing. It's a, it's a classic like ten minute. Oh lord. Power yeah. ballad. Yeah, no, I don't think yeah. we. Yeah, can it totally is. See, I would want to find the fifteen minute. Art rock and that's when everyone would kick you off the stage. Minutes. Exactly. Yeah. You do uh, exactly. Don McLean. Uh, oh, American Pie. Yeah. Bye, bye, yeah. American Pie. There's always someone the who does it. You'd be that guy. Oh. She told me she did. Don't ever do Freebird. It's like, oh, hell yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then stand up there with the dorky air guitar and wear a soiled white t shirt and stick my stomach out with my beer. You know? Going like, come on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, do, you, do you like Are you being to married to me? I shouldn't do that. Or... <laughs> that's, Only that's after stairway. Bad. I have to say, because yeah. you keep mocking your attire, but you've got the most awesome belt buckle. It's true. It's been noticed in the chat room. Okay, Has it? it? All I tell right. You what, we went through the uh, we went through the security stand, check like of this. Las Vegas, <laughs> and we had we had. Uh, a fifth of tequila we were trying to pass through uh, in our luggage. I thought it was okay. I wasn't trying to pass it through. I'd, right. You thought it was... I was, was like, well, I'm bringing my fucking ounces. liquor home. It was less. It was like a little, little less than half. Half empty. Half empty. You know, whatever. Wait, wait, where were you but coming from? But the ladies... Las Vegas. Las Vegas. But the ladies oh. were commenting on his different types of bell buckles. Now, he yeah. has one that, you know, is Guns N' Roses one, which is very fancy. And then he has one that's very profanic. Um, it sure says fuck. It says fuck. <laughs> Not sure if we can say that, but you know. Oh, yes, it's after, yes, hours. after hours. We can say anything <laughs> we want to. I, I like the fact that you have a belt buckle that says fuck, <laughs> yeah. and you're the ambassador of beer and blog hey. throughout the world. You know what? Like you can show up Side in Tokyo note? and go, hey, welcome to beer and blog. Do you know what I want my belt for my birthday? Says, fuck. No, I want a birthday present. I want a belt buckle that says fuck. Yeah. I, you know what I like what? about it is I like I like it's hidden, and then exactly. like at some point like I'll, do, I'll reach up for something or somehow, and somebody will be like, <laughs> oh my god! Does You're that guy's so belt buckle say fuck? Yes. It's the best thing ever. Yes, it's, it does. It's so funny to be like, yeah, that's exactly what it says. Yeah, they could read it through. That was that was kind of funny because it was it was two older ladies, yes. and they just started <laughs> cracking up because you know they see my suitcase go through. Here we are yeah. in airport and TSA, and, and, oh, and I'm yeah. like, what's Vegas. so funny? And they're like. We can read your belt buckle. <laughs> oh, I know which one it is. It's the Guns N' Roses, isn't it? Yeah. Are, baby. Although the Guns N' Roses makes me think someone needs to sing Welcome to the Jungle. That would be will. Well, you know. Welcome I am from Cincinnati, and that was the song that they used to play uh, oh, really? at the Bengals. The Bengals you know. yeah. Wow. That was that was our song. Mm. So when did you come to Portland? Someone needs to play some bands. Adding content to the show, no. he says. <laughs> 1992. We need 92? content. Why uh, why did you come here? Mm. I uh, my dad moved out here first mm -hmm. in 1990, mm -hmm. and uh, if have you been to Cincinnati? <laughs> <laughs> I've been to other parts. Of have Ohio. you been to the Midwest? It, no. uh, it wasn't is hard. It worse than Columbus? Uh, e oh. Well, you know, it's all still in that same. Yeah. It's still the Midwest. Don right? can relate to me here, being yeah. a fellow Ohioan. And, Which uh, Don? Don Foster. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, talk to normal. You get, slurp. <gasps> you gotta get the hell out while you still can. Yeah. 
Amen. <laughs> Although we love Cincinnati and love to see them start their own beer and That's, a, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I have a friend in Cincinnati, Beth. Well, you know, if Go they turn it and cool, block. then I'll come back. Now, which one's the home? It, Cleveland is the home of rock and roll music, yes. right? Yes. Not, so that's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Right. But uh, if you were going to... Oh, WKRP is in Cincinnati. In God, Cincinnati. I used to get asked that question. Yeah. That was the number one. WKRP, is that real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, did you ask me that question? Yeah. <laughs> Doctor, I think what you really mean is... WKRP. Exactly. No, no, no. That's WNBC. Don't mock the WKRP. WKRP in Cincinnati. Did you hate that show when you were like? Uh, no, actually, like when I was younger, there was the the blonde, Lonnie Anderson. Lonnie Anderson. Lonnie Anderson. Yes, thank yeah. you. So that was that, a great show. When I was actually. a younger man, I thought the show was great. <laughs> actually, both Cami Chaos and I. This is one of our yeah. favorite sitcoms. Mm-hmm. Venus Flytrap, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just listened to that man. You guys ever. need a moment here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, think, I think we're okay. Well, it was a, it was the whole seventies radio. Uh, it, was, it was a different time. Yeah, the <laughs> album oriented kind of radio thing, and uh, less in his whole. Uh, yeah, we taping this off the offices. I could you know? do without less Nessman. This came up yeah. last week too. Venus Flytrap. He's actually he boy. was my he was my choice's favorite newscaster of all time. Less, less Nessman. 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 Yeah, that's dropping true. turkeys all over the. Oh, the humanity! <laughs> exactly. It came up last week. So you came to Portland, and you stayed. Came to Portland, and I uh, honestly like at the time I was uh, like 13, 14. Portland. What the hell? Well, actually, I thought um, I thought this place had a lot of opportunity. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's sort of a weird thing for a I'm gonna take 13, 14 year old to think. But well, not uh, for a 13, 14 year old gangsta. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, well, I'm gonna do what he's got to do. The rock and roll sign <laughs> automatically, but like that. Exactly. But you know what I think? I just realized what? we haven't done the what are you drinking? And this is the beer and blog after hours. I know. I, Where's I have, the drink music? Nah, I'm drinking good. beer. Yeah, and exactly. blogs. I got a reputation. I'm man. drinking oh blogs. Look at this. Help. This is a cup full of <laughs> blog, baby. I took your blogs, the ones I didn't like, and I melted them down, and I poured them over ice, and now I'm drinking them. With some rum. With some rum. <laughs> oh, there we go. On this After Hours, Gaming Chaos is drinking suck ass blogs with rum over ice. No, I'm not. I'm drinking cran cherry juice with pineapple juice and four kinds of rum. And some triple sec. I think she's going to go to bed real <laughs> early right after this tonight. Normally after the show, I'm all hopped up. And I'm like, ah! Ugh, and then 30 and minutes, sleep. and it's... And then I think tonight I'm going to be like, yeah, you... Yeah. We're all drinking the damn same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's very well, tasty. Well, no, 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 that's not true. Um, you and Justin and I are drinking the same thing. I think that Kelly and Christine um, were on the on the empty uh, end of the pitcher. I'm actually <laughs> drinking, like... Water now. Yes. Yeah. My, my ice has melted and my drink is gone. So oh, I. Baby, I am. Yeah. And you're drinking out of the habit of dry, dry moai. I'm, I'm drinking out of this wonderful green tea. Dry dry moai. His name is dry moai. One of my yeah. favorites. Dry moai. We have two dry moais. Yeah. You, and, you and Justin both oh. have a dry moai. Oh, the, the newlyweds sweet. have the dry yeah. moai. They, they chose the smaller, oh, you, the smaller up. tiki mugs. I'm tearing up. I had to give them the matching dry moais. Uh, just... Kelly is, as always, drinking out of the robot. Yep. The robot tiki mug. I don't remember which one he is, though. Do you know? That one, I, I believe that one is mine. But which, I can't remember his name. Because that he wasn't the name. question. <laughs> no. yeah, he awkward. has a name. Give Answer the question. I, Wrong! Oh, wait, no, no. That one's Kay's. That is Kay's robot tiki. Right. The blue tiki. I'm drinking out of Manchego the monkey. That's not his real name. That's what we He's named him. He's not a frog. And Dr. Normal is drinking guy. out of... Um, the conga play. Um, I think it's called Tiki Tunes. Yeah. It's his real name. So but I, keep, I call him Bongo Boy. I keep referring to you guys as newlyweds, but it, it, you went... Kind of on the honeymoon to Vegas. No, no, I think newlyweds. I think yeah. newlyweds. If you're in your first like year, year, it's newlywed. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. think a year it applies. So it's been geez, September fourteenth. September fourteenth. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have we have months still to call them newlyweds. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. It's true. You're about the six. To get on the to yeah. get to get on the newlywed game, it was less than two years. Mm. Wow. Dude, yeah, we just, have a, just as we long as you guys Portland don't use the in the bottom game. answer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Most uncomfortable place you've ever been. Wrecked made. him, <laughs> damn near <laughs> killed him. <laughs> Dude, I have to tell you all, he used that oh, in the Lord. kitchen earlier too, but this time it was much funnier. <laughs> <laughs> good times. It's the best non joke. Yeah. Good times, baby. Almost as good as ask me if I'm a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh. No. <laughs> Dude, I could make all sorts the of things The show's off, right? Like, nobody saw that. <laughs> no, everyone, they're all tired of us now. They're like, God, would they stop talking about what yeah, songs streams down. they We're would done. sing for We're karaoke? Out. This is ridiculous. Are we seriously done? Or? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I started to say, oh, well, then shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck this. Oh, Let's get no. on to some business. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good times, baby. That Aaron Hockley, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe what he said to me when About we Facebook. were sitting outside <laughs> Green Dragon. Oh, no, seriously, he said some really, really, really choice. Uh, offensive choice things to me outside the green dragon this evening are you serious the kind of things you <laughs> oh, would say in front of dr normal <laughs> well no they weren't offensive that way well i don't know i mean but if you were the person he was talking about <laughs> yeah <it's laughs> then it was i have no idea what she's no he did about. say something to me outside the green dragon but i've had too many tiki drinks now uh, yeah i can tell aaron and i are uh, actually gonna be planning something kind of special for this upcoming september it's wonderful and special. that would be Super special. <laughs> Can you tell us? Well, I can't tell you exactly because Since we're you brought it up on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, then why we got, no, we got, we, we got, we got a, a tech event that we're doing that we're clustering with. Uh, okay, you say cluster, and my brain goes. Uh, I know. Oh, sorry. South by Southwest. That well, 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 well South it's, by Southwest. It's, it's is not in South March. by Southwest, but it, what it is is it's the the Northwest Music Festival. North yes. by Northwest. And well, well it's not, not north, north by northwest. northwest. <laughs> uh, the PICA, the TBA mm -hmm. event, mm -hmm. um, and then also going to be doing a, a tech event during that time. Cool. Mm -hmm. Help bring basically the South by Southwest format, Ooh. but more northwest. of the Portland. Cool. That Portland would be focus. Cool. That would be yeah. cool. Are you guys going to South by Southwest by any chance? Or no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have someone to hang out with. Everybody. <laughs> we can all. I'm hoping I won't be hanging out with you that week. But it probably yeah, we're having will. that problem too. We're you know, discussing. Like, oh, I should go. Yeah, it's just I'm it's like crazy. Gnomedex, Gnomedex, it's a drive up. Maybe it's, you should just send it's me expensive. to South by Southwest. It is. Yeah, expensive. it is expensive. Ooh. And it's the kind of yeah. thing you got. It wouldn't like, be that plan. expensive if I went by myself. Far in advance. No, it's still it's still expensive, Cami. Because the problem is, it's like, no, I know. Trust me, I've my done, sister has a house, I've done so we about could all six stay there. Tons but, of research. Yeah. But like uh, Aaron there. Hockley was saying earlier today that he's basically debating going to Gnomedex, even though he could drive and probably stay for very little. Right. And going to WordCamp San Francisco because. Getting to WordCamp, San Francisco, and paying the twenty dollars to get in is probably about the same as the like four hundred bucks it is just yeah. to get in yeah. to Gnome Dex. Well, a flight yeah. and a flight down there, ah, that's, that's no big deal. I mean, you could yeah. fly in and grab a car, fly into San Jose or something, and grab a car. It's exactly. no big deal, right? That's right. Know? Yeah. So they actually come out about the same. Which at, initially, I was like, "How are you?" We gotta get Alex Williams to just. Drive us down on the bus, man. There you go. There that you guy go. needs yeah. to be busting out his bus a lot more often. Yeah. That's <laughs> the party bus. You know what I mean? Come on, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Christine, you need to take the cameras a mic. I have to go right? over her. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta take that thing. But between well, didn't events. know Dex last year, so well, yeah. Cut the guy some slack. I'm Does sorry. Does anyone okay. know when Gnome Dex actually is happening? Because I still can't get a date out of anybody. Maybe yeah. I would feel more comfortable missing South Maybe by Southwest. Maybe where's my iPhone? If I had no, 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 no there's no, it's not up yet. Oh. I'm thinking Everyone's someone like, like well, secretly just has tweet a date. Chris Perillo. It's like, oh sure, hey, uh, by the way, Gnome Dex date. Never thought of that. <laughs> I'm gonna break the news. Um, it's yeah. on the site. <laughs> Is they it finally? It, it wasn't finally? really embarrassing. The what? early it bird special. <laughs> the early bird special registration rate is three ninety nine through February twentieth. Three ninety nine. Oh, yes, it's more expensive and than I thought. Are you out of your mind? And yeah. it's August twentieth through twenty second. Hmm. I like these twenty dollar events. Don't you? Ten dollars. I do. I'm a big fan Ten of the twenty dollar. We're, we're all Portland. We're all about organic and free. Yeah, so we go yeah. places in our twenty dollars well, nicest not free. restaurant not in town. Bucks. We're there in our Every jeans. Is fine, but, exactly. Uh, Anywhere in Portland, you can go in a pair of jeans. Yeah. I mean, you know, is that three dollars to right? wear your hoodie I don't think so. <laughs> over your head. Yeah. As long as you put the hoodie down, though, mm -hmm. it's fashionable. It's okay. Yeah, I like Portland. Portland's good. I know. I have a, I have a hard time when I go to other cities, and I'm I like, wow, you worked 
I'm getting yeah. ready. Wow, just th- that's nice <laughs> that you have that on. Are you comfortable? That took a while. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have we a were belt in... buckle that says "fuck." <laughs> yeah. Yay! If we were I'm in ready. Portland, Let I could throw in a pair of jeans on. and a corset. Was and that would the be Was good. that the the deal? I mean, was that the deal maker? Was it just like, yeah, hey, that's... wow, okay? You know, when, <laughs> when Christine met me, knows yeah. what he wants. Absolutely. Absolutely. We we found that we found that belt buckle in a thrift store, <laughs> and it was just like, how could you not want to get that? And then when Dude, he got that. I was like, it. where the hell are you ever going to wear that thing? <laughs> and then, everywhere. And then he wore it everywhere, and I was, and I just kind of got used to it. And I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Wow. This, this is what I looked like when Christine met me. Oh, my. So when Justin and I met, we met, and he had the full-on chalk beard. I rocked the photo for he, a short and, period of time on Twitter. And he had some oh curlage going God. in the background. But I fell in love with him. I still right. love him now. Somehow. Like we all did. And I knew if <laughs> exactly. she loves me when I look like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not. Okay, okay. It's it's all right. We'll post the. <laughs> he, d- he, got, he got this picture of his driver's license taken like maybe like three or four days after we met. Yeah, yeah. it's true. And yeah. then three or four days later, I shaved it and it hasn't come back. Nice. Not to wow. say that it I, won't make a reappearance. I had a series of, of um, ID <laughs> badges for work. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was a contractor. The terrorist badge. Well, no, it started with the guy with, I still had kind of a beard, and I was wearing a gray t-shirt, and pretty much like petty criminal car booster. <laughs> And then I graduated from that. I'd gained some weight, and I was wearing a white shirt. So it was, was the it Egyptian a... terrorist. terrorist. Nice. Yeah. You know? And then I kind of cleaned up my act. And, and then uh, you realize okay. once uh, George Bush came into office, you could you maybe be deported back ass. to Egypt no, I, without any sort of... I eventually wanted to get laid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, and you did. Smart move. I'll tell yeah. you. Very good Good move. call. Yeah. When it's I met nice. Christine, I didn't even have sheets on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Bachelor, <laughs> what, you just didn't have the futon, uh, like like when oh, I was bachelor, I was like the, the futon. No, 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 no. no. let's let's animal discuss. Animal Not just a futon, a futon with a pink fucking futon. Cover. <laughs> I, I know, I don't know why that was pink. Fu- where, where did you even get the pink futon cover? It was freaking it, pink. It was my ex girlfriend. I don't know. Oh, it was it was your ex girlfriend. It used to be red. Pastels no, no, were no, big. No, no, <laughs> hey, hey, it was pink. Hey, pastels were big back in the eighties. You remember? You know what? Uh, I've uh, never in my Miami life. Miami Vice. That's that's I right. Never Those guys in my were life pink. Yeah, that's pastels. right. Pastels. Pastels suck ass. Miami Vice. Don Johnson made it okay to wear pink. Right yeah, what are you going to do in like 10? Pink. What's that? I said, if you're going to do it, do it right and just go bright ass pink. Yeah. yeah, if it had been hot pink, I might have respected that. But it wasn't. It was like this wimpy ass. Maybe that's why like... I couldn't get a date. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. I'll tell you though, you know, if, uh, if you can get a date during that time, you know, you, you got something real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is legit. She likes me. Because yeah. this is pink, and I did. I, she shouldn't. I, I stick around. <laughs> Even after I saw the pink futon cover, all I was right. like, uh-huh, all right, well. So do we have another so, question so, for Justin? Yes, I actually have a question for Cammie. What was it besides the pink, pink futon cover that made you fall in love with Dr. Normal? Hey, wait a minute. We're interviewing you. We asked the questions here, (laughs) Ms. Newlywed. I'm trying trying to decide if I should answer that honestly. I fell in love with Dr. Normal long long after I decided to keep him around for a while. (laughs) After the pink futon cover? Well, there was the pink futon cover, and I was like, oh, but then I slept with him. Is this where we... Very good. Plug the sex episode two coming up in February. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no. It was Please the, reference the, all yeah. your questions to the sex episode two February. I kept him for that. And what then, is it? Nineteenth or something. So you. No, no, you, no, it's the day before Valentine's. The February sex was 13th. good, and yeah. that was reason enough. Yeah, the pink futon cover was awful. The sex was great. Oh, that's. And then I kept him around. But was it on the pink futon cover? At some, it's not, oh, it's I don't matter what? what you're laying on or what they have right. on their face. At some as point, as exactly. As if your eyes are closed and you're as screaming, as you don't good. know what color. I'm sure that at little some point, spaghetti from dinner. Care? I'm I'm sure at some point we had sex on the pink futon cover, but I have to tell you, the second I could, I forced the man to buy a black futon cover, and then I made him. I was him down buy, with that. Yeah, and then I made him buy leather couches. So. Whatever. Oh, very good. Yeah, I, I very quickly. You know, like, you, you know what it is. Things. It's important though that that you you when you uh, meet your lady that 
your life is in shambles. In exactly. Some, some that's people, exactly what they're yeah, If help. it's not fucked yeah. up and we can't fix something. Exactly. They're, then they're not Very interested. True. That's what I was going to say. I mean, if your style's all all a mess and crazy and you got a pink... I, I don't know where this pink thing is. Crazy, you exactly. know, and hair and exactly. pink and there's nothing... Would I... Because pink I, on the couch and there's no sheets on the bed. That's exactly. when you meet your yeah. woman and when she's like, Justin, I'm going to help her. I didn't exactly. ask him to change whatsoever. He had the full-on, you know, biker chop The full man too. He had the, the the curls in the back and, and but this from, and from when I met him day one I, I fell in love with him yeah. and and I fell in love with him from from we were dancing and he Aww. he was twirling me and spinning That's me true. And, and I told him I don't want to be touched in any you know aggressive emotional <laughs> me market way well and, she didn't tell me that <laughs> actually uh, I we showed up and there was somebody who was. Trying to grind with Roping her oh, that's in, good. in a uh, sorry about that, Chinese but... restaurant in Oregon <laughs> you know, City. Okay. Yeah, I, I love that place. By the way, it was, it was they had the best kung pao chicken. Um, but uh, Justin, I saved her. Justin, <laughs> I was like, that guy's a nomer. Mm-hmm. Get, <laughs> no get out of here. Uh, let me show you how to dance with this girl. He, nice. He dances. And so that's how that worked. Sweet. Oh wow, that's true. Yeah. Very nice. That is very sweet. Mm-hmm. It's true. Wow. How is it? I mean. Because your your whole wedding kind of thing and all that it it's kind of public. It's kind of like Twitter, Twitter. Well, tweet, Scott Cavitin was our yeah. officiant. So yeah. there you go. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, that you did was a wonderful job. Is that the Church of Bacon? Thank you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> that you know what? That, 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 that would be the yeah. Church of Master Bacon. I bet you Bacon. today. I would hope. <laughs> today, I bet if we'd have done it, it would have been uh, Church of Bacon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, at the time, it was a little, it was a little pre-bacon, mm-hmm. pre, pre. Well, I mean, there's no pre-bacon in his life. There's just pre-public bacon. <laughs> That's right. No. That Before he was uh, out. out of the bacon. I don't know. I tried, uh, I tried something. Out of, it didn't work. out of the refrigerator. Out of the kitchen. <laughs> it was kind of live. Out of the Somebody butcher. Was... I don't know. No, you you did. You I think you live tweeted some of it. It's like I'm up here now getting. Didn't you do that? Where? Oh, when you were getting married. We were at- oh, I did not live tweet. I will. Yeah. I I have lines of geekness. Okay. <laughs> well, you know that's the one thing I was always really. And someone was. Well, what was your last tweet? Live tweet their baby. Right before birth. you got married. Oh, I don't know. That's that. I could have tweeted. Yeah. Right. But there, there is a possibility that tweets occurred. Yeah. Pre ceremony. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We had a we had a good representation of uh, geekdom. The geekdom. Yeah. yeah. We had Don and Todd came. Yeah, and, and uh, Marshall Julie and, and Michalina. And and Marshall Michalina. That's right. Or Julie and uh, Troy. Troy, yeah. yeah. And um, Don and Todd. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of uh, newlyweds as well, Marshall and Marshall and Michalina. Yeah. That's, yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Around Christmas. Time, yeah. Right. Yeah, they, had, uh, they ran into some, some challenges, uh, but then they got that worked out with some paperwork stuff. And, mm-hmm. uh, oh, it's mm-hmm. just the paperwork. Yeah. Freaking but, paperwork. Uh, it's not a it, problem in Vegas. It was, it was, it was <laughs> paperwork, definitely... Paperwork, maker work. <laughs> it was definitely... Elvis got, is marrying you, you now. You got money? Shit, you're <laughs> married. Viva! It was definitely Las interesting Vegas. to there see how the whole, like, government came into play, but it really wasn't official until Scott signed the paperwork, and then uh, yeah. we were like... Well, Scott's just some guy who got his. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's, just, he's just a, a off the internet. <laughs> we, <laughs> he's this officiant guy. How does this guy make our make our our? Did he sign it with an open ID? Oh, <laughs> good question. You know what? I don't think he did. <laughs> no, we have to talk with him about he that. He signed it with a piece of pen and his hand. You know, with a pen and a piece yeah. of paper. So yeah. that's all that mattered to us. Hey, yeah. hey, Cal, who married you and Mr. Fishbones? Uh, we well, I was I gave him the nickname of Minister Bond because uh, we <laughs> neither of us being deeply religious, uh, we really didn't have anybody, and so we ended up asking the photographer that we picked if he knew anybody that was good at this and that he liked working with, and he mm-hmm. said, "Well, you should go to this guy." Oh, okay. Well, what's his name? His name is Roger Moore. <laughs> Nice. Oh, very nice. Very so nice. we were married by, by Roger, Roger Moore, Moore, and I was like, "Well, we should meet him." So he goes, "Well, here's his email address. Keep in mind that this was in 2000." I got an email address to talk to this guy, so I sent him nice. an email. He said, "Give me a call." Can you wear a dinner jacket? Gave him a call. He bring well, a PPK Walther with you. He <laughs> met us at Starbucks. Bring me a martini here yeah. in, in Selwood. Met us oh, at in Starbucks. Selwood? Yeah. Nice. Um, up there by the Divide. Columbia Outlet store. No, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah. Oh, met us up one, there yeah. and then said, okay, you know, we talked to him, thought he was lovely, and then he said, uh, 
I will email you the different kinds of ceremony that I have. So I took mm -hmm. that, cut it up the way I wanted it, pasted it all back together, sent it back to him and said, this is what I want to do. And then at the rehearsal, we got married at Timberline Lodge. And at the, so nice. we had rehearsal like that morning. So we're nice out there place. doing all our rehearsing and everything. And he goes, okay, so now we do this and then we do that. And then, you know, I ask you and you say yes. And I ask Scott and he says yes. And then at the end, I say, Kelly, you may now kiss the groom. And I went, oh, can, can you do that? And he goes, and he leaned in and goes, who's getting married? And I said, <laughs> me. And he goes, <laughs> and he said, well, since it's uh, your wedding, I yeah. think if you want to do that, you can. I said, okay, can we not tell Scott? <laughs> and he said, okay. So I stood up there that whole time just waiting for him to say, Kelly, you may now kiss the groom. And I stood there, yes. and I was so quiet, and I was so good. Did you dip him? No. no. Did you kiss Roger Moore? <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to kiss James Did Bond. you say, listen, for today, I want to call you Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at, so at the Did very end, I got to... Do you do a British accent? No, really. Yeah. Come on. Uh, excuse me. But a, but a Sean Connery Scottish. is not British. I, oh, but a little Scottish. I was talking about Roger Moore. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah he was a little... The interesting English, thing to whatever. me about, about getting married was... Uh, British the, Empire. As part of the paperwork, uh, there's like the side the girl has to fill out and there's the side the guy has to fill out and the girl side has a bonus paragraph or at least it did in 2000 when we got our license there's a bonus paragraph and an additional signature you have to give yes. if you are a girl getting married and the end of the the end of the paragraph in all capital letters says i am not property bam Wow, you actually read all that? And it was the funny... Well, because it was all capital letters, and I had to sign there, and Scott didn't have Were to sign drunk? there. So it was yelling at you, I am not property! So it caught my eye, because it was this extra piece I had to do that he didn't have to do, so I stopped This was Oregon, it. wasn't it? Yes, and it was this whole, you know, like, if you prearrange this, and like... And basically what it came down to is uh, your father should not have traded you for goats, and this is yeah. not indentured servitude. Dowry is whatever. not okay. Yeah, so... Stop it. Stop so, the dowry. I told Daddy Chaos that I didn't want the goats. <laughs> so Actually, I, I spent about a yeah. month just, just randomly, you know, could That's you pass okay. the ketchup? I'm not property! <laughs> <laughs> That's my purse! I don't know you! Okay. Doctor, and, would you like to tell everyone who married us? Yes. No, I want to get off this subject and talk nope. about something else. I <laughs> no, really do. No, no, no. If you don't <laughs> tell everyone who married <laughs> us, I'm going to tell everybody. Spread the word. Spread the word. Where did you guys get married? Where? where what location? Uh, the Acadian Ballroom. Oh, Acadian nice. Ballroom. Nice. Alberta. Nice. Ooh, 19th and okay. Alberta. 19th and no, Alberta. Alberta, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dr. So, Normal. So, Dr. Normal. Come Let's on hear now. about it. Who married you? Who married us? We're just about out of time. Sean Elvis? Connery. <laughs> was it Elvis? Yeah. It was one of the two. No, it was not Elvis. Um, was it, it was Elvis just, it was, it, we were married on a boat. We were, it was a ship's captain. We were on the stern hey, wheel. Okay. Well, I'm really embarrassed about that. Because this isn't the wedding because podcast? Because you're asking us questions. Because it's that's all not gooey. how this show works. Because it's all gooey and lovey, and he's very happy with that. I have to uh, find new music for this. Some really but like. No, no, no. Really I, have to, I have to say, women though. Women in white dresses coolest, walking around. <gasps> Welcome to the wedding we must podcast. Have a white dress party. With Justin Kistner. Like a white dress karaoke <laughs> drinking oh, party. God, no. I like it. Whoa, well, wait a minute. Okay, what I flowers no, no, for wait, someone who's wait, not a virgin? I have to say. <laughs> I was totally a virgin when I got married. Yeah, it was all white. <laughs> and all your friends and roommates were laughing their asses off. I'm, wow. I'm, I'm not allowed to wear white clothing, and it has nothing to do with that. It has no, no, to do with, I, I will was, spill something on myself no, no. immediately. My it's, wedding gown has spoke. a big red wine stain down the front. I wasn't even drinking <gasps> red wine. Um, <laughs> um, Wait a minute, I didn't do that. Sure no, no, when my friend did. <laughs> no, my friend spilled red wine down my wedding friend. gown. Your um, former friend? Actually, yes. Hey! <laughs> I don't want to say but, I have um, a gift. <laughs> but no, I have to say don't that mess with Cammy, the yes. ship's captain, his name was Corby Buzzwell. No. Oh. Best yeah. ship's captain name ever. And a rocket pilot Corby in his spare Buzzwell. time. Wow. Saving the universe. <laughs> Corby <laughs> Buzzwell to the rescue. All right, I, I actually was like, oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, you were yeah, joking. A little yeah, Rocky no. Jones. His uh, name was Corby. <laughs> captain Corby? Captain yeah. Corby, Captain Corby married that was us. great. Captain and Corby we had the to infinity and beyond. Exactly. We had the shortest ceremony ever, so short that when we came downstairs, the uh, bartender was, thought that I had uh, canceled the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> 
Justin, how long was ours? Less than six minutes? Uh, oh, I, wow. It was less than ten. It was, le- yeah. it was like, yeah, it was so short. We oh. had like, we didn't have any of the... But I know, actually didn't serves. think about that. It right. wasn't until later, like, people ma- making jokes about how like, short oh it was. God, and I'm like, so fast. Yeah. well, what did you, I'm so what did what you, did you want to talk about? I love you, you love me, yada, yada, yada. Woohoo! Yeah. All right, with that, Dr. Normal was telling me to end the show. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. We're I, running I, out of time actually, here. Very <laughs> we ran out of. Uh, We've video, been talking. But... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, on that blah, nice blah, blah, wedding, blah. we'll be back next week with more Everybody wedding tips. Everybody loves each other. <laughs> next we're week on the so show, happy. Martha Stewart. <laughs> Making cakes. Yeah. yeah. Shit. <laughs> Thank you. Wedding. Thank you all for joining so I've got, us. I've got for... something special queued up for those people you miss um, uh, with all the festivities with the inauguration. I know you're gonna miss this guy. So no, we don't. Gonna... We don't miss him. Yeah. Just don't play. I'm gonna take my headphones off okay, now. Say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Have a great night. Have a goodbye, great guys. week. Goodbye, guys. Thanks a lot. Join us next week with John Meta and Orblogs. And beer and blog next yeah. week and and oh and tomorrow if and you're listening live and joblessness right. only you can help prevent joblessness. That's and we're right. out. Thanks, guys. This week on Behind the Mic. Settings. You know Googling? I know, I can't help it. The Google hey, are you going to have the socks taken. like that? Are my socks bugging you? Probably. Let's take uh, a look. I don't know so much bugging as uh, just not working for me. No, no, I, I'm just being him. <laughs> not, not that it isn't working for me. I like the socks. Keep the socks in the... Sh- no. What, you need the socks tucked in? I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't you have that. you have a problem with contrast because you didn't like. I the don't other... understand that look. That's because you're an old man. <laughs> oh. No, this no, is no, the no, tech. Here. It's episode. okay. You know it's okay. If he I is. were really it's that right. old man, I would understand that look. Oh. <laughs> oh I'll be doing like that throughout that. the night. <laughs> that was nice. All right, is that better, honey? Is it bad to have a drink yes. in my hand? Is that yeah. not tech? No, that's episode? okay. We no, that's can have that's a drink. A new, the new tech episode. <laughs> it's encouraged. This is beer and blog, after all. <laughs> exactly. You'll be the it's first beer and right? blog. You'll be like, okay. All right. Cammy, what is he error is five? tequila. Okay. <laughs> what, sweetie? Error 05. Give me some five. of your best, best work. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yourmom.com. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many random IMs I've gotten this week because I sent my status message at work to your mom is the final Cylon? <laughs> Who was all upset that you said okay. nice Is there a final mom? Cylon? Okay, I'm turning the mics off and we're rolling. Join us next week for more tech and more after hours on Strange Love Live.